One day, a troubled man named Ken approached Koji. His mind was plagued by dirty and impure thoughts, causing him great distress. Ken had tried everything to rid himself of these thoughts, from meditation to ascetic practices, but nothing seemed to work. Koji listened to Ken's woes and then invited him to sit beneath a towering cherry blossom tree beside a bubbling brook. The fragrance of the blossoms filled the air, and the sound of the water seemed to wash away the worries that burdened Ken's heart. Koji looked at Ken with compassion and spoke softly, I understand your struggle, my friend. Just as these cherry blossoms fall gently from the tree, so do thoughts arise and fall in the garden of the mind. Trying to destroy them is like trying to grasp the wind. Instead, let us try something different. Koji reached down and plucked a cherry blossom from a branch above. He held it out to Ken and said, look at this blossom. Is it not beautiful? Ken gazed at the delicate pink petals, their color illuminated by the gentle sunlight filtering through the trees. He nodded in agreement, yes, it is beautiful. Koji smiled and continued, now, I want you to hold on to this blossom tightly and not let go. Ken did as instructed, clutching the blossom tightly in his hand. He watched as the once vibrant petals began to wither and lose their luster. The more he tried to preserve the blossom, the faster it deteriorated. Koji gently touched Ken's hand, encouraging him to release the crushed blossom. As Ken let go, the petals, now lifeless, drifted away on the breeze. Koji spoke again, in the same way, when you try to cling to your impure thoughts and fight against them, they only grow stronger. Instead, allow them to arise, acknowledge their presence, and then let them go, like the falling cherry blossom. The more you try to destroy them, the more power they have over you. Embrace them with compassion and release them. Ken understood the wisdom of Koji's words. He began to practice this new approach, allowing his impure thoughts to come and go without judgment. With time and patience, the dirty thoughts lost their hold on him, like fading echoes in the mountains. As Ken's mind became clearer and more serene, he thanked Koji for his guidance. Koji simply nodded and said, Remember, my friend, the path to purity is not in destruction but in acceptance and release. Just as the cherry blossom returns each spring, so can your mind find renewal and beauty. From that day on, Ken continued his journey with a lighter heart, embracing the ebb and flow of thoughts with the wisdom he had learned under the cherry blossom tree, where the secrets of destroying dirty thoughts were discovered through acceptance and letting go.